Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taylor and I post videos every week, kind of just a range is my plan. I'm still super new to vlogging, but I plan to do some reviews. Today I'm doing a review on Fawn Design. They kind of specialize in motherhood bags, but they have all kinds of other bags and stuff too if you're not a mother like me. If you like what you see today, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see what else I post. I do plan to do a Disney series soon if you watched my last video. I'll be doing that in October and probably doing some prep and pack with me's in late September, so stick around for that. And today we're going to be doing a review. It's not an unboxing, but definitely a haul of fawn items that I've just got throughout the last year and that I use regularly and some that I bought that I don't use so regularly but are just still worth sharing here so without further ado let's get into it so I'll start today with their diaper bag and something I didn't do in my last video but I plan to do today is to share the prices as well just because I think that that's kind of helpful if you are in the market for these items I got the satchel diaper bag in brown that says here I will say it is, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It has so many compartments. It's obviously meant to be a diaper bag. And like I said, I'm not a mom. So I feel like hopefully this video is helpful if you are looking into getting this bag, but you aren't a parent. You can see like, how are other people using it if they're not putting diapers and things in it. So I have used this for work. I'm a speech therapist. So I always have like tons of stuff in my bag and I've used this for work. I've also just used this for leisure. I've used it during travel. And I will say, I love how much storage it has. And I will kind of share the inside of it with you guys here in a second. I love how much storage it has. I love that it comes with a strap if I want to wear it as a shoulder bag. And it comes with a clip here for your keys because there's nothing worse than having a giant bag and then never being able to find your keys. What I will say though is that it's heavy. I mean, it's already, it's a big bag, okay? It's got good weight to it, completely empty. Once you put stuff in it, there's so many compartments. So you're like, well, I have space for other stuff, which is always what ends up happening to me. Then it gets really, really heavy. That's just something to keep in mind. And I think if you were going to use it, it would probably be like more functional. Like if you had it as a diaper bag, that you're gonna put it on a clip onto the stroller. Or if you're not gonna use it as a diaper bag, then you're just kind of carrying it from point A to point B. You're not necessarily carrying it around all day. Maybe you want this to be like a fancy school bag or something, and you're just keeping like your iPad in it and things like that, like that would be okay. So I will share the inside of this with you guys. Here's the bag. It has this magnetic clasp. It's about as big as it, you know, you can see how big it is on my bench. In the back, you have a zipper pocket, pretty good size. That's usually where I put my phone just because it's easy to grab. And then you've got your straps. Now you have a zipper that does go all the way around and I'll show you how that works here in a second. At a quick glance, this is the inside. You've got pockets in the back, large pocket space here. You have another large space here, and I'll turn it around so you can see that you also have a pocket with a zipper on the back. So when you open that, again, lots of space on the inside. So you have another zipper compartment on the back. You have a compartment here, and then the large space. So it can fit a lot of stuff, which makes it tempting to put a lot of stuff in it. Oh, here's the detailing in the back, which is I love it. I am happy that I bought it, but it is not an everyday bag for me. So, okay, so we'll keep going with the pretty brown items that I bought. Makeup bag. This is super cute. This is the cosmetic bag. It comes in small and large. I have the small, and the small is $24.99. So I'm just looking forward to share this with you guys. Again, beautiful, fun inscription on the front. You have gold zipper detail, good size, and then this is the inside. In the inside, I do like that you have a little pocket. It's very beautiful, and it's perfect little makeup bag. This one's eight inches and the large is 10 inches. So also with the bag, I have the brown wallet, which they do not have this color right now. Got that fawn inscription, the beautiful detailing in front no zipper on the back on this side you do have compartments for cars id slip back here 
Then when you flip it, you have more card compartments and then you have the two pockets and the zipper for change. I love this wallet. I do use this wallet every day to take everything out today to share this with you guys. Oh, another one of their most popular items is their, they call it the fanny pack, but it's a fanny pack. It's really popular. So this is kind of one of those items where if they restock, they put a color you like, snag it up. The fanny pack, this is the brown and this is $69.99. This one I do use regularly. This is, you know, my everyday wear is definitely with a fanny pack that I wear across my body. I love that it tightens and loosens easily. I have some other fanny packs from other places that don't. If you wanna wear it around your waist, you could. In the back, you have a magnetic pocket. And in the front, you've got the beautiful font inscription and you have a zipper pocket a small zipper pocket. And then you have your large compartment. Opens up. They have already put in the card holders for you here on this side, and there are three on each side, and then you have a zipper pocket in the back too. Absolutely worth the purchase. I love this bag. This is kind of my fancy fanny pack when I wanna dress it up and still just have a comfortable purse to wear. All right, so moving on to the Weekender bag. I saw this advertised and I absolutely have to have this. I'm a brown girly sucker for brown, everything brown all the time. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna switch it up because at the time, which they no longer, or at least they don't have it in stock right now, but I don't know if they'll be bringing it back. They do not have this color combo. And this is the black with the brown trimming. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna try something new, which is crazy because I'm telling you, like, I always get brown. This is the brown and black color combo easy to carry, it is light, and honestly, it's not much heavier than the uh, satchel that we spoke about earlier, the diaper bag. It is good, a good size here, and a good weight. So I did also get the toiletry cases in large and small. The small is $39.99, and the large is $59.99. I'll start with the large. It has, right off the bat, beautiful font engraving in the back, gold zipper detail, now mine has been used, it's loved. Haven't used it too much, but I've used it, so you're gonna see that reflected in the way that it looks on the inside. You've got plastic zipper opening, so the zipper here on the inside zips around, and you've got the compartment here. That's how deep it is, the compartment, okay? Then on this side, you have the same, a zipper compartment. This is how deep it is, okay? And then you have a zipper on the back. I wish it was deeper, I have to say, but it's totally functional. I think I'm somebody that maybe just has like too many toiletries when I travel. I am a skin care girly, okay? I've got all the skincare stuff. I don't mind having a more simple makeup look. So usually in that area, I just don't have as many products. But when it comes to my hair and it comes to my skincare, I have a lot of stuff. So when I travel, I'm like, oh man, well I have to have like the scrub, my face scrub, and I have to have like the overnight mask and so. That's probably why I wish this was deeper, but it works perfectly fine. And I am glad that I got the small one because then that kind of helps me just have more space for other stuff. I really like them. They're very beautiful. They're good quality. My only rule with them is that I just wish that the zipper was better made. I, I really don't know how else to say that. I feel like zipper just in general with Fawn. So even looking at the Fawny pack, which I should have mentioned earlier, I don't have that issue with the cosmetics case. And I also don't have that issue with the zipper that's on the satchel. When it comes to the Fawny pack, and to these and the weekender. I have just felt like the zipper gets stuck really easily. You know, I just have to be careful and be mindful of the zipper because I just don't want it to snag and it does feel fragile. So worth $59.99? I don't know, maybe 30, something like that, but still beautiful. It's nice to have sets and everything, so. What I bought was the Weekender. I added these and I got the satchel for free. Come to think of it, I'm like, how did I, yeah. Which, if they do those, they usually do bundles with like the Weekender and then toiletry cases or cosmetic cases, things like that. But if they ever do that offer again, where you buy a Weekender, get a satchel, go for it. Like, that's perfect. The perfect way to kind of start with Fawn and see do you like their stuff. Or a Fawny pack would be a great place to start too. This is the small cosmetics case. Good size, me carrying it in one hand. Again, with the gold zipper detail. And then this one, this zipper does not get stuck like the other one, like I don't have an issue with this one. We've got a good size in here, if that's how deep it is. 
I am glad that I got the small one. You see, I feel like you can even just see in the video, like, this one closes easier than this one. See? It gets stuck right there. So I gotta kinda cram. So that was a good example. So keeping that in mind. Oh, wait. Let me show you a better view of the bag. So here is the Weekender. I mean, there's just so much to say about this bag. The love that was put into the design and the detailing. I love the two-tone. You have a zipper up front, small space here. You have, this is not magnetic or anything, but you have a slot here. And you have your tag with the fawn detailing. Just beautiful. Something that I love about fawn is that when they send you something, it's sent with love. It's packaged with love and care. And that to me makes all the difference. I know they're a small company and I know they're putting love into their product. They're taking that extra time to put love into how they package it. Slip in the back here. You've got your handles and I like that you have the clasp that moves so you can clasp them together if you'd like. And then you do have the, it does come off, it clips. Okay, but you do have your strap here gold zipper detail on this one. This can comfortably fit what you need for a weekend getaway. You have a zipper here on the back and a pocket, not magnet, but just a pocket. And you've got tons of these pockets, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tons of space on the inside. Putting the toiletry cases inside with the large and the small cosmetics case here. Okay, and again, you can obviously pack these up better than this, but still have plenty of space for two days worth of clothes at least. Three, and you know, even three. Depends how you pack, right? Everyone's different. All right, and the last thing that I wanna share with you guys, like I said, I love how Fawn packages your items. Packages, packs packs your items. I'm a speech therapist, I swear. Everything comes in these beautiful bags, drawstring, this one was for the wallet. The wallet also came in this beautiful box, which I've kept to reuse if I ever wanna store the wallet in there, which hasn't happened yet because I use it. And then it came in this beautiful, you can, you can hear like the quality. <laughs> came in this beautiful bag. When I opened my package, I felt like a queen. I was like, wow, I just got like the most beautiful package that I've ever received in my life. Came in here too. So nice. So I had kept all the bags and I actually store my weekender in the bag. I usually store like the toiletry cases in the weekender, but I do keep the bag to store the weekender in. And I just love these, they're so nice. And you don't need them to store the Fawn products. They're great for laundry bags and shoe bags when you travel. So that's all today. That's all the Fawn products that I've tried so far. I don't have my eye on anything else right now, but that may change in the future. If you want to know more about the bags, please leave a comment. Any questions, I'm happy to answer them. See you guys in the next one.